Hi, welcome back to my channel, the best place for potential buyers, sellers, and landlord to learn about all things real estate. My name is Stevenson with Remax, and I work in the beautiful city of Toronto helping uh, people such as yourself achieve your financial and real estate dreams. Today, I'm super excited to bring to your attention of a brand new report that I've just received titling 27 tips for selling your home fast and for top dollars. Now, of course, this video will be way too long to watch if I share all 27 tips with you. So what I've done is I've picked out five awesome tips to share with you today in this video. And if you would like a copy of this report, you can reach out to me via email, text message, uh, Instagram, wherever you can find me, and I will be sure to get, get it to you as soon as possible. And all this is free of charge, of course. And before we go any further, if you're watching me on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button and smash that like, button, like icon and uh, give me some comments or feedbacks on my video. If you're watching this on other platform, be sure to follow me as well as I will be sharing a lot more real estate related content with you so that you can be an informed consumer. All right, so maybe you're thinking about selling your property in the next couple of months or maybe in the next six to nine months. And you're probably wondering what kind of things you can do to prepare your property so that you'll get the top dollars for it. Now, I'm gonna give you these five tips to help you get a head start. So before you go down the road of selling, you have to understand why you're selling. Do you know the reason you're selling your home? Do you know your own motivation? You see, depending on your motivation and desire, you or your real estate agent will have to employ different strategies when selling your home. Let's say you came across a beautiful property and you happen to fall in love with it and you just bought it before selling your own house. Or you run a business and it's been greatly impacted by COVID-19 and you need the equity from, the, uh, from your own home to help your business uh, get through this difficult time. Which means you need a quicker sale on your property. And so you or your real estate agent will have to prioritize timing over price. Getting it so quicker is way more important than taking a long time to get the price you wanted. On the other hand, if you are selling because you're downsizing or your lifestyle has changed, but you haven't bought your next home yet, which means you want to maximize the profit on your existing home, then you or your real estate agent can let the sales process take a little bit longer in order to potentially get you a better price than if you were selling in a hurry. So your motivation of selling really determines which strategy should be employed when selling your home. There's an old saying that anything is for sale at the right price. So pricing of your home is probably one of those most important aspects of the sales process. If you price your home too high, you run the risk of scaring away potential buyers. Or worse yet, you are helping to justify your competitor's price because they are a little bit lower and maybe have better features. If you price your house too low, you also run the risk that even if you get multiple offers, you might still be underselling your home. So before you set a price, you have to do some homework. And if you are living in a newer subdivision or if you're in a condo, it will be a lot easier. Generally in a new subdivision, um, builders will reuse uh, a lot of the floor plans. So you're gonna be able to find uh, similar models, similar homes, exactly like yours with the same square footage and you can find out what they sold for. Similarly, in the condo, uh, if your unit, let's say it's an 06 unit, the last two digits 06, in general, the other floors of the 06 unit will have the same floor plan. So you can just take a look at 
what they sold for and you'll have a great good idea of what your unit may be worth. But if you are in an older neighborhood where homes are maybe 40, 50, 60 years old, then it will be a little bit harder for you to find direct comparables because over time, maybe some homes have been rebuilt, knocked down or at an extension. This is where you will need a local expert um, to help you, a real estate professional, to help you determine the price on your home. Now, either way, you need to have a good understanding of the housing market in your general specific pocket or the trend in order to arrive at a, a more accurate price. Now, I also understand that different features or renovation will have an impact on your price. And this is where a professional realtor should be able to give you their objective view and also provide you with market trends that are not too general because it's useless if you look at the whole city uh, numbers, it's more useful if you are, your agent can provide you with real local, hyper-local specific data to help you understand what the trend is in your specific pocket. What if your property is very unique in terms of features, style, or age? Or what if there isn't much activity in the area that you're trying to sell? How do you determine the price then? Well, I can make a suggestion is you can hire an appraisal company to, or one or two appraisal company to give you a baseline price for your home. Now, appraisal companies are what banks hire to give them a value of, uh, of a property when a buyer applies for a mortgage. Usually, appraisal companies will employ two to three different valuation methods to arrive at a market price. So they're gonna be able to give you a minimum baseline figure for your property. Now, with these couple of uh, appraisals that you get, it will help you gauge how financial institute will value your property so you can set your price accordingly. Don't forget that even though you or and the buyer have agreed on a purchase price, unless the buyer is coming in with full cash, no mortgage required, chances are they're gonna need to apply for a mortgage and the bank will send out their independent appraisal company to verify that the purchase price that you guys have agreed on actually makes sense that the buyer hasn't overpaid because banks don't loan based on the purchase price, they loan based on the valuation. So if the purchase price meets the valuation, then the bank will accept the loan. Otherwise, banks might turn down the mortgage and that will affect this, uh, your sale. I can't tell you how many times I've brought a buyer into seeing a house and they walked away because the property is dirty or it lacks general maintenance. Now, if you think back to when you were dating, you know, guys will wear a nice shirt, uh, maybe a nice pair of pants, shiny shoes, and ladies will wear a nice dress, put on some lipsticks and mascara and do up their hair selling a home is no different. When you put your house up for sale, the buyer's first impression is very, very important. And what you wanna do is make sure they come in and feel that the place is clean, it's tidy, and uh, it could mean the difference between having multiple offers or none at all. So before you list your home, make sure you go room by room to verify that everything that should be working is working and if something needs to be cleaned up or tidy up and it's done so uh, because you want the buyer to come in and feel comfortable you don't want them to start making notes of things that they will need to uh, do to fix the house you want them to be able to move in with their suitcase now if you uh, have larger systems that haven't been maintained since you've been living there, 
make sure you get those checked. The furnaces, the AC, get someone in to check them before, make sure they're working properly, filters are changed. You want the buyers to have the least amount of hassle uh, if and when they do their home, uh, home inspection. And you also want to make sure that your property is the best among your competitors. So make sure you do all of that, clean up the property, tidy up anything that's, that's on the floor, make sure the house is spick and span. Yes, I know you love your home, you've lived there for a long time, and you've built a lot of good memories. However, as soon as you put your house up for sale, it's no longer your home. The buyer will buy it and uh, they will move in and build their life around this house and create their own memories. So you need to take your emotions out from the transaction. Treat this as if it was a business dealing and uh, don't let your emotion jeopardize the sale because you and your real estate agent, the objective is to create a win-win deal for you and the buyer. You want the buyer to feel happy about the purchase so that you can minimize any chances of potential issues arising before the closing day. So there you have it, five simple tips from my report titled 27 tips that a home seller should know. And uh, through these 27 tips, it will help you protect and capitalize on the most important investment, uh, reduce stress and help you to be in control and maximize the profit during the sale. To get a copy of this report, you can send a text to 416-617-9997 or email me at homes at stevenson.ca or wherever you're watching this, you can put a, uh, a comment down or a private message or a direct message me, and I'll be sure to send that report out to you as soon as possible, all free of charge. Once again, I'm Stephen Sun at Homes by Sun with Remax. When you work with myself and my team, you're not only going to get top-notch real estate service, but a portion of our professional fees will be donated to Children's Miracle Network to help children in need. Together, we are going to be able to change the lives of our next generation by giving them better care and a brighter future. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and make a comment which one, which tip was most helpful. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.